Hi, have you ever wondered how do KD uh, developers play chess? No? Well, here is it anyway. So I want to showcase a couple of games that I played against other KD developers. And this is the first one. I was black against David Edmondson and he opens with e4. So I always, always go for the Scandinavian because I love the modern version of the Scandinavian. And then he throws the knight into the center, which he often does in response to the Scandinavian. And I actually think this is like a not very good move. It's already minus 0.4, because at this point I can just push my pawn forward and his knight is kind of left wandering around without a clear plan. And in this case, it goes here and then I can immediately attack it to make it go away and develop while it is jumping around. And I do the wrong move here because the queen shouldn't go there. I think that goes back to white's territory. And the reason is that it can just forget about it. In theory, I should probably, uh, yeah, a pawn move to again make it ju jump even further back and this is pretty good for me but I just forgot about it and I played the queen move that makes no sense whatsoever so of course it is already defended so he starts developing and attacking my pawn and I defend it even if there's the queen already and after he moves the bishop, I finally, finally realize I can attack his knight the proper way. So he jumps back. I actually couldn't uh, attack it immediately here, if I remember correctly. Hopefully I do. Yes, because if I go for this right now, then it just takes the pawn, which was not good. So first I defended the pawn and then I threw my pawn against him. He goes back and then I realize I have this nice opportunity to first block his bishop and then also make it retreat. So I have a decent, in my opinion, um, develop, uh, developed area against these pieces that are quite crowded. However, all of my pieces are in the rock spots. This bishop is completely useless on this diagonal and it won't really get far in this one either. This queen just shouldn't be there, it's in the way and there's no way that I'm going to castle within, the fur <laughs> within uh, a short period of time. So I make sure to block this pawn because I didn't want it go to go on and left this one undefended. He immediately tries to open up the position where the pieces are too, too crowded, which makes sense. And after a bit of thought, I decided that taking unpassant was actually forced here because uh, whenever you get a occasion, occasion to take unpassant, you have to. So it takes back and he managed to get a bit more space out of the position. And right now I realized that I was kind of in a difficult situation. Uh, he had many good moves. I think I went like five or six uh, moves deep here. But uh, just ideas like moving the bishop here immediately pins it to the, to the rook. So this one won't be able to move. And I remember that in many variations I wasn't able to even move the bishop to defend it, which was annoying. So I develop my bishop, he castles, I develop my knight, and he attacks my pawns. So again, long thought, and I decide to advance it and attack his knight, which then... Uh, well, I did expect the knight to go back because it can't go here, uh, it can't go here either. So making it go here was like a good move. I did not see this pawn going forward. So obviously it's a free pawn, kinda. So I take it and it moves the queen forward attacking my bishop which I did not see. And here it was a pretty bad situation. I don't think I was like it is one plus 1.7, so yeah. But um, I wasn't really confident. I had a couple of moves, but I didn't like them. So 
I took some days, like I had a week to think about this one. I thought a uh, long time and then I just decided to slide the bishop over attacking the rook, knowing very well that it was probably going to be taken by the knight that then was going to attack my pieces and then the bishop jumping in was going to attack my rook again and then this knight was going to be big liability. Luckily I have this knight defending. So it takes, uh, I take back with the knight and at this point it jumps in and pins my queen to the king, which I did see, so I did not blunder this. I realized that after me taking his queen, he taking mine, I was going to get a bit more material. I was not going to get that for sure because it's with check, but um, I was going to be in a better situation. So I took, he takes with check, I take back, and of course he takes my knight, which is good. Like I did plan this, I think he didn't play this like the best way. He, it went back to being uh, me having the advantage. So I tried to play for a win here. I think that castling, I don't know, it didn't feel right. We were going straight into an end game and I wanted my king to be active. So I threw my pawn uh, forward, he attacks it, and I just attack his knight first that's hanging around without a clear way through because, um, sorry, because he can't go here, he can't go here, he can't go here. He has to retreat. Uh, or defend it, of course, but the point is this knight is currently very stuck and this uh, rook is not even attacking my pawn. So I jump back to defend my pawn, uh, it tries to open up here and I think this is a mistake, yeah, it's a blunder um, because at this point I can just get my free pass pawn and start going from the win. So he jumps back uh, with the knight as I thought he was going to and I decide to um, throw away this pawn here and there was a good reason for this, I thought about it for a long time and the idea was that, uh, I don't exactly remember so let's watch it, he takes, ah yes, and then I sacrifice a second pawn like this in order to get two pass pawns that are much easier to promote. He only gets one in this trade and mine are closer and much more dangerous. I don't know if I played like nicely, uh, Stockfish, Stockfish says I didn't, but I thought it was a pretty good idea. Plus I'm also getting the free rook for, well, well the quality not the free rook. So I take it and then I advance my pawn which are pretty much unstoppable at this point. He jumps back with the knight, I just defend, he tries to block the advancement but I castle, I don't know why. Uh, probably to get this rook into the game more easily. Uh, he tries to attack it, I defend it. Ah, I know, I, in here I actually just gave away the knight because this bishop is pretty strongly defending uh, the advancement of my pawns. So I just threw my knight undefended here and he takes it and then I advance. And at this point I, mm, I won, like there's no way to stop, sorry, to stop my pawns. So I attack the here, he moves back. I still cannot promote because you know, everything is protect protecting that, but I then attack the knight and he goes back and is offering me a free knight but that's just for the knight that I gave him so by taking this he takes back and I just lost my best uh, pieces this is I don't know still completely won but um, I didn't like it and I thought that a much better move, let's see if Stockfish agrees with me, yes, is moving forward. Because at this point there's nothing you can do. He tries to again sacrifice the knight and here if I take, he takes back. And then again, same situation as before, I need to defend the pawn and then he can attack it and then I'm a bit stuck. I don't like this position at all, what would be the best move? Uh, to attack the bishop, yeah. 
what if year year ah, and it cannot take because that would be checkmate makes sense so I did not take I did what I thought was a better move which is to bring my queen forward and at this point the only move he has is to uh, go with um, go forward with the king because if he takes checkmate no, not checkmate well, ah yes he has the bishop first checkmate so I just uh, in this case I know he actually resigned after playing this move yeah the, it's pretty lost here because uh, I just take and then he takes and then check and I win the knight and this tr two two rooks against the bishop is just completely one I actually give away the pawn. I don't care. I have too many strong pieces. So let's switch to the next one. Let's uh, go start. Go back to the start. Sorry about that. And I have black here again. No, sorry. I have white here. Sorry. Same uh, person. I open up with the English because I'm an English player. Uh, he immediately fianchettes the bishop and I immediately block it and then he doesn't fianchettes the bishop as I expected but develops um, I don't know what the opening is this um, I don't know and I decide to throw in this um, pawn here and then I do this which is very aggressive Probably doesn't make sense. No, it's not like profit. It's actually a blunder. It's a bad move. And it, if Yanketos the bishop eventually, and this is pretty bad for me because I cannot uh, defend everything. And after a bit, I close down the position, and it's just better. His pieces are much better. Sure, this bishop is completely useless right now, but as soon as this falls, then he has a very good bishop here, very good bishop, I'm just underdeveloped and overextended. I don't like my position at all. And this was um, two months ago, so I, I hope I got better. And he jumps forward with an eye, I close down everything, and then he plays a blunder. I'm actually f in a much better situation here uh, than him, okay. He plays this, which is a weird move. The point is that uh, now he has very active pieces, but this is not going down. And after playing the only good move, luckily I found it, which is knight here, defended by the queen. The queen just hasn't any good scores. It was supposed to give check here, but now it's covered by the knight. And sure, it's an active queen, but what are you going to do with it? So he forwards the pawn. I attack his queen immediately, since it's not in a good position. He goes back, and then I go forward. And I think I'm doing pretty good here. I'm actually plus eight, so pretty good. He goes back, uh, attacks my bishop, and then here I think I realized that... What did I play? No, I just defended it, never mind. This move. Okay, so I was a bit worried here that if I did something like sliding back, he was going to close down the position here and this bishop was going to be useless. So I decided to throw it back and make it useless right <laughs> from the start so that I'm kinda ready when this happens. And then I go back, because now if it's closed... Uh, honestly, I don't know why I thought this was going... Ah, yes, um, now I was worried that the bishop... If this actually... Clo uh, no, I played this. He plays this, and this bishop is even worse than before. So I decide to go, go back uh, forward. And then here, I'm plus seven. Uh, he takes my pawn, he attacks my knight. Uh, the knight is kinda necessary defending this, but he could actually just go away, I think, yes. And here I play probably the worst move ever, a blunder, which is this pawn move, which throws away all the advantage that I had. What was the idea behind this move? So the concept is, 
I, it's allowing, allowing me to do a lot of weird stuff. Let's say it takes, uh, I don't know. No, I don't remember the exact lines I calculated. Uh, I didn't do a good job. I can jump, I can jump forward with my knight here for uh, the rook. So he has to take, and then I take, and then I have a pretty good pawn here. And I remember saying, hey, I can actually defend this pawn. I have a pass pawn and I can just move my rook uh, here to attack on this column. I can draw lines and I'm gonna promote it. But of course that was not going to happen because um, that didn't even got played. He actually took and of course I took back and he attacked my queen. So I had to step it um, sideways and then it takes my rook, which I did not see. But I mean, it makes sense. I had a pawn here completely blocking this bishop and making it useless. Now I advanced it and now he has a super strong diagonal and he uses it. So in here, I thought I had a decent move, which was bishop here. And of course I did not realize that there was just going to be down a rook, which is bad. So it castles, I go forward with my queen, uh, still hoping to do some mass. I don't know, jump forward with, um, not this one, jump forward with my um, knight, then it takes, I take, I try to get this, uh, Pawn. I was not going to do any of this, of course. Ah, come on. Where was I? I'm doing spoilers. I jump forward. He attacks my my poor knight, so I need to go back to defend it. And at this point, he gives me check, and he won the game because I just take and uh, it gives me check with the pawn. And at this point, I'm just trade up down a rook and up a knight but uh, he has not one but two pass pawns this is completely lost he could potentially even make a third one by advancing these two but I decided to play on because I had two very active knights whereas his knight is shitty because he cannot jump here he cannot go here he cannot go here he com is completely stuck, he has to go here, and then here, and then here, if he wants to join the action. So I thought, let's try to defend this for a draw. Let's try to pick up two pawns while, um, well, while waiting for his knight to become active. So I slide my king uh, uh, behind the pawn to make it more defended. He attacks my knight, I go back, he tries to advance. I make my knight go back and then he plays this to attack my other knight i jump forward and then he moves a bit around not realizing that he lost the first pawn so i'm one pawn up i'm happy and of course he attacks immediately this uh, hanging knight so i move it back to also win the other one but then he builds a pretty powerful attack here so I need to go back and defend my knight, which is now pinned. And then he attacks again. So I need to slide over the king, which is pretty much in the way right now to defend my knight. And he takes the pawn, just a clean pawn. And this is very important because now I try to go back with the king to make it less, uh, because uh, it, it was going to, I saw this, I saw the pin, I didn't want to get pinned. So I jump forward, trying to defend this area somehow. He jumps forward with, uh, he moves forward the pawn. And at, at this point I'm lost because his knight, which was like the most useless piece and I was playing because it was the most useless piece, uh, it's now active. So I go around, but in a few moves, jumps over with the knight, I play a bit and in here, I mean, it doesn't play, I think best because it gives me a pawn, but the point is it forks me and there's really no point in playing this. Like I just resigned it because um, 
I'm completely lost, I think, um, minus 14. Uh, I remember here if he had played something like, I don't remember, what what was the best move here? Sorry, um, yeah, okay, the one he did, okay. Fire, fear, no, uh, before that. Okay, he played the best moves. Yeah, I remember a variation where I would have re resigned much earlier because I did not see the point. But here he is completely lost. Let's switch to the next one, which is a bullet game. I wanted to include a bullet game. So let's talk about this. So I'm black. I open, he opens up with the queen pawn, which I actually don't really know how to answer. Currently I play this move, which sucks, the entire point of it being uh, attacking the pawn, but of course, ah, but of course, uh, after, sorry, after moving this pawn forward, uh, it doesn't actually have to take, it can just go forward and then I hate my position already. Although, you know, this is just opening, but yeah, I never know how to reply to Queen's Pawns, but this is bullet, I throw away some pawns, like I just do the usual stuff. We get to this position, which I hate, so I take, which is probably not a good move. Computer, please let me. Yeah, I should have taken, should have taken the other pawn, but never mind. Uh, I actually take both because it doesn't defend them, but then he also angst the knight. So I exchange queens uh, because I'm up a piece and he takes with the king instead of the rook, which probably would have been better because uh, he would have preserved um, the ability to castle. But then I just throw a bunch of pieces forward, give a bunch of checks. He takes a pawn, oops, goes back, I give check, and then I go here because it's defended by the rook. So we exchange pieces, I get equality. Uh, throw pawns forward, suck, um, sacrifice. A couple of them try to get an attack going, but it doesn't quite work. So at this point, I'm a clean, I'm a clean, how many points, 14 points of material, material up. This is bullet, like, um, it's not like you can play a, an actually good game uh, in bullet uh, if you're not using, used to it. And after a bit of moving around, it's clear that I'm just going to win this game. And then I need to carefully think how to checkmate my opponent. So I do this with the idea of, you know, just doing this. I have one minute left of the uh, one minute original. I played very fast, okay? I played with increments. He does this and then I had stupidly removed this move to give check. So I go here and it's a draw. It's stalemate. Everything is protected. Stalemate, I didn't see it. So this is how I played bullet. I managed to play a good bullet game and I just screwed up cleanly. So one last game I want to show if I'm... Okay, in here I'm white and I open up with knight to c3, which was actually back then my preferred opening. Now I play the English, this doesn't make uh, any sense to me whatsoever. He plays this, I play this. I much prefer to play this actually, but I didn't like this, this, didn't like it. Again, it's uh, the knight just jumping around, doesn't make much sense. So uh, I play this to stop him. We develop pieces, this is the standard stuff, it's not like we know about uh, opening theory that well, so it's throwing pieces forward. I exchange uh, knights here because uh, why not? Again, this was seven months ago and I didn't know back then that I was not supposed to just throw away pieces like that. 
castle, he attacks me, I exchange pawns because why shouldn't I? And now he has two damn good bishops sliding through, a very nice queen that's ready to attack me. So I take one of them and then I have a queen that's ready to attack me. So I try to bring forward a bishop of mine and then I try to take off the diagonal. He jumps forward with a knight. I should probably take it, but instead I decide to just give back the diagonal to the bishop because I was a good player. He takes, I take, he takes, I take. Did he hang a piece here? Yes, he did. I oh, know I didn't because he, he gets mine back with check. So brings forward the rook. I need to move my queen and then this is this should actually be fine. Yeah, it's almost zero. Would have been 2.5 if it did this. Okay, makes sense. And I defend my pawns. I take one and he checks mate me. Sorry, what? I just didn't see it. I had seven minutes on the clock, seven minutes. And I just did not see that queen, uh, what is it, g2 uh, is checkmate. And that's it. Like, um, chess is tough sometimes. <laughs>